from After Dark World Headquarters. This is your favorite correspondent, KD, welcoming you with open arms to the morning report for a cold, well, cold might be overstated. Let's say real chilly November the 29th, a Monday. 2021. You don't have to get out of bed quickly. You can crawl out of bed. Don't have to leap, don't have to fly, but get your ass up. Give you the five. One, two, three, four, five. We should continue with the readings. Michael Crichton. I've been getting some good reactions from people wanting to hear more about Karen, the girl that seduced everyone. So we'll continue with Michael Crichton. And he's talking to Dr. Geller again. That is, Dr. Crichton's talking to him. Dr. Geller speaks. How does she relate to you, Dr. Geller said? I would say seductive. How? Well, she usually doesn't wear underwear under her mini skirts, and one day she wanted to come to our session in her nightgown. What did you do? I made her go back to her room and change. Why? I'm trying to control her flirtatiousness. Why? Well, I still have a lot to find out about her. What don't you know? After the second pregnancy, speaking of Karen here, her mother found out that Karen had been having sex with her father. Her father then decided that Karen must go to a foster home. Karen lasted about six weeks at the first one. Why? The guy had a problem. He couldn't keep his hands off of her. And then, another foster home. This time the woman threw her out because she saw what was developing between Karen and the husband. And then, a minister and his family. She lived with them for almost a year. He was a very strict man, a very pure man, and he never told her that she should stop it, that he would never be tempted by her. And he lied. She shrugged. One day his wife came home early and caught us. But by then, it was time for me to go to college anyway. She found college boring, she said. It was so stuffy. She got good grades even though she cut most of her classes. She liked to take trips to go skiing, go to New York, anywhere just to get away. School was so boring. Did you talk to those people at school, she said? The administration people? No. Why? Just wondered. Should I? I don't care. They don't know anything about me anyway. Michael Crichton, the girl who seduced everyone. We shall continue with this. One quick letter to Xavier Hollander. And boy, have I picked a doozy today. <clears throat> there she is. She looks so, I wouldn't say innocent. She looks kind of scandalous, even with all those clothes on. Okay. Dear Miss Hollander, I know I shouldn't take your piece of trash so seriously, but I feel that you have defamed the American Jewish man most seriously. I defended my country during the Korean conflict, and I am raising my children to be good American Jewish citizens. I belong to B'nai B'rith, and we both belong to CORE and ACLU. We don't have to apologize for our liberal liberalism or our sex life either. I carry a good hunk of meat around between my legs, and I know having discussed this with my friends, that none of us are sexually inhibited. 
I like eating pussy, 69, and any other combination of the two people you can think of. And if you want proof of this, lady, then invite me to come around. When you get this joint in your mouth, you won't be saying walla walla, and you won't be saying that Jewish American men aren't swingers in bed either. Yours rather indignantly, name withheld Pearl River, New Jersey. Yeah. The best letters usually come to this lady right here. It's time to get up, which I've told you. I've also told you to be nice until it's time not to be nice. And to be kind animals. And discipline equals freedom. And never complain and never explain. You can thank me later for this. So for Mr. and Ms. America and all ships at sea and all sods everywhere, this is your favorite correspondent, KD, thanking you for coming around for this early morning report. And remember, do consequential stuff. Get shit done. We don't have unlimited time. Just a friendly reminder. I will see you on the road to adventures.